हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम बैक आई होप यू हैव स्टडीड योर प्रीवियस लेक्चर थॉरली एंड इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेरीज यू कैन आस्क मी इन एल्प यू लाइव ऐप और यू कैन आस्क मी ऑन माय इन द कमेंट बॉक्स सो इन एनी वे इफ यू वांट आस्क एनी क्वेश्चन यू कैन पुट ऑन देयर एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टेक द लेक्चर नेक्स्ट लेक्चर विच इज टू बी टेकन ऑन योर गिवन टाइमिंग एंड डेट एंड वट आर द टू डेज टॉपिक इज is the hydraulic system used in tractor and components of hydraulic system in the last video we have discussed the topics related to the first unit and now onwards we are discussing the topics of the unit 2 so in the unit number 2 the hydraulic system is the first major important topic which is going to which which i am going to be discuss today so what is hydraulic system why hydraulic system is used the first thing is this that what is the use of this hydraulic system in the agriculture the major thing so a unit is responsible for lifting and lowering an agricultural implement you might have a hitch system is there and uh, you might be knowing any your trailer is there some trailers are applicable that it can carry the load and it can stand vertically it can stand vertically up so in that case is your agriculture lifting and lowering these hydraulic system is to be used then why hydraulic system if i would say why the hydraulic system is to be used because it is very much simpler than a mechanical system in mechanical system there are many linkages many joints so as you know if the joint increases the strength of a system would decrease as well as the size whatever function you want to do with the mechanical system the same can be done with the hydraulic system but with a less space correct and it has very uh, similar kind of effect that as a human is doing it means it is it is giving us the equal force in all direction all the time correct so power can be engaged or disengaged using a simpler valve even your mechanical system is very tough to use it requires some human power but in hydraulic system it is very easy to control operate and work on it clear yeah. next is this is is safer than the mechanical system you might have seen that in a, there are in mechanical system system there are many linkages there are many joints so it is very difficult to tackle them and do not we don't know that if something is rotating or moving it might hurt you but in case if your hydraulic system is there you, it can be easily controlled and safer then like the all other system in a tractor correct like all other system in the other vehicles uh, like your car or a truck the hydraulic brakes are there yes it is there your steering control is hydraulic maybe so it is there so in case of tractor or and in case of your car most of the hydraulically controlled things are same as per the application correct but in tractor there are some advanced things are to be used because they can carry heavier loads and they can do those works which cannot be done by any car correct so those hydraulic systems are very simple like your steering system steering hydraulically controlled steering system can be used in the tractor and it is used in the other vehicles also fine so what is the working principle of hydraulic system everybody knows about the working principle of hydraulic system is pascal law Pascal law says that if you are pressing with a very small force on a less area then it can carry or it can move heavier loads on to the other side so that is what the hydraulic principle of the uh, working principle of the hydraulic system next topic is parts of the hydraulic system these are the parts mentioned over here these are the parts which have a specific function in the hydraulic system we'll discuss it one by one correct but these are the part in cumulative way first one is hydraulic tank everybody knows about this hydraulic tank which stores the lubricant or maybe which not lubricant which we stores the oil correct so in tractor there are two types of hydraulic tanks can be used the first thing as you can say clear the transmission chamber there are two ways in which the oil can be stored inside the first way is transmission chamber and the second is a specific hydraulic container or a tank is placed inside the uh, tractor so there are two ways in which we can store the oil inside the tank inside the uh, tractor then 
the next part if i would discuss here is the pump pump is very basic element of a hydraulic system which requires because to increase the pressure of the fluid which can be used in the different parts of the tractor so first pump there are many types of pumps are available but in the tractor we mostly use one type which is gear pump and gear pump is further of two type the external gear pump and internal gear pump external gear pump are those in which the two gears are matched from the outside and internal gear pump is when two gears are matched from the inside that's why the difference is same so the working if you want to check the working you can search out and the link in the description that how the gear, external gear pump works so that's a different one correct the oil pressure varies from 150 to 200 kg per centimeter square this is the oil pressure they can produce then this hydraulic cylinder this is quite important to discuss because this hydraulic cylinder is specifically used to increase the pressure for a specific application it is also called ram cylinder if you see this image this ram this is the ram the inside one this is the ram these are the inlet and outlet valves this ram will move in and out with the use of your uh, external motor correct and when it presses out the when it moves the hydraulic ram will move backward the oil will come inside it and when the hydraulic ram will move inward this oil gets pressurized inside and came out from this valve correct so this is cylinder is to increase the pressure increase or raise the pressure of the oil then the next is relief valve it is similar to your cooker valve like when the pressure is more than the required limit then this release valve will open up and relieve the save the system correct then we are having the control valves control valves are in three basic functions the first one is give the direction of lifting second is the power of lifting and third one is the speed of lifting correct with what speed you wanted to lift it up correct how much in which direction the control valves give you three things in which direction upward or downward with what power what is the amount of the fluid or pressure required for the lifting the third one is the speed at what speed faster or slower you want to take this load up and down so these are the three basic functions of a control valve then after that we are having hydraulic motor hydraulic motor is simply it's a reverse of a pump like in the pump we are providing the mechanical power to convert it into the pressure of the fluid but hydraulic motor is the opposite one like the pressure of the oil or pressure of the fluid or the liquid is used to produce the mechanical uh, uh, mechanical energy correct so this is the hydraulic motor which could be used in the uh, hydraulic system then the next one is hydraulic hoses hydraulic hoses are simply just the pipes but these pipe are not the normal ones but they can resist or they can withstand the higher pressure inside it because from the one end it is connected to the pump or uh, exit of the pump and the other side it is used to the implement maybe correct so in that case they have to take the high pressure from the pump to the implement so this pipe should be that much flexible and that should be so much uh, can withstand the many forces on to each on to it correct these are they are the hydraulic hoses the next one is hydraulic filter very basic component of every system that a filter is required when oil is contaminated it has to be filtered before going into the pump because if it will get if it will be in the pump it will damage its ram it will damage its uh, you can say the gears if it is a gear pump correct so depending upon it the hydraulic filter is used there correct then next one is a hydraulic accumulator this accumulator is very much required in a tractor there are so many functions of it but just see the image of accumulator this is a cylinder in which the high pressurized fuel can be stored correct why it is to be there because we cannot put directly the pressure out from the uh, pump directly to the implement we cannot do that so in between we are using the accumulator why accumulator is to be used so that it can maintain the pressure for a certain time if sometimes the power failure is there so your implement would fall suddenly and there might be any miss happening correct but placing an accumulator in between it will gives you enough power to reverse your work correct or to easily do your work so that your implement should be came down easily correct so the accumulator is to be used there are many other applications of the accumulator correct so what are the functions of the accumulator emergency and safety 
yes that's the first point that i would say the any accumulator which is kept constantly under pressure is valuable in event of electrical power failure so sometimes if your engine loses the power so the implement would fall suddenly so to remove that kind of miss happening we are using the accumulator then the next one is shock or pulsation dampening it means whenever the pump is giving the pressure so that is not every time the equal amount so any type of pulsation would damage your implement so before going directly to the implement we are putting into the accumulator and saving the implement then third one is leakage compensation this is the again the very difficult situation that it is a liquid system so there may be a leakage so but in an implement required enough amount of a certain amount of pressure if the leakage is there so there may be the loss of pressure so in that case your accumulator works very well the next one is thermal expansion thermal expansion is because of your hoses correct because of the heat and it is in the hoses maybe your uh, the high temperature increases the pressure differences also so in that case your accumulator works very well in the tractor then the last one is noise reduction your pump creates the noise and that noise is dumped inside the accumulator it will restore it stores the pressure inside it liquid inside it and it will dampen all of your uh, noises in there so uh, this is the all about today's lecture and if you wanted to see the previous videos you can subscribe my channel tiny steps and if the further lecture will be uploaded onto the same channel must subscribe it and study thank you and take care